Hello. Crumbling Britain is ripe for British nationalism. I had the unfortunate pleasure of visiting my local hospital last week with my elderly mother. She's 87, she's not well. And what strikes you straight away on entering the A&E is the volume of people in there. Christ, it literally is rammed. And also watching doctors and nurses running, yes, running from one room to another, from one ward to another, from one patient to another. No sooner have they dealt with one batch of uh, patients, there's another lot, and then another lot, and then another lot. Chaos reigns in hospitals now. There's also waifs and strays wandering around, there's smackheads and thieves and other odd bods and weirdos. It really is a strange place now, hospitals. I hope you don't ever have to visit one, but Trust me, it's not like the old uh, carry-on uh, matron with Patty Jakes. Trust me, it's not, right? It literally is chaotic. And it's a reflection of society, really, because society is now chaotic. It's crumbling. Crime, prisons are full, mass immigration, services are strained, just like everything is strained in hospitals. They're like a small microcosm to what's happening to the country as a whole. And crumbling Britain is ripe for British nationalism, yet there is no British nationalism. So, what do you think's happened? Why do you think that is? Well, we know why, right? Our enemies, hope not hate, Nick Lowe, Jerry Gable, Safe Life Magazine, and the big boys in MI MI5, they infiltrated the movement and they took it from Daphne Griffin, or should I say, he handed it to them. He handed it, the BMP, Britain's most successful nationalist political party, over to the enemy. And he doesn't care. He blames UKIP, the establishment. Blame whoever you want, Nick Griffin. You allow those agents of Hope Not Hate to run riots in the BMP and you didn't give a toss. Like I've said, British nationalism should be riding high now, but it's not. The phony British nationalism in its place uh, Mummy's Boys political party and uh, Amory Waters, Toby Robbins and all that stuff. That's becoming more obvious and, and embarrassing by the day. It's running out of steam. They don't know what stunts to pull now. Because the more they do, the more people are looking at it and saying, that guy on YouTube's right, Joe Owens. I'm sure Nigel Farage uh, can now see the hand of Open or Hate. And the big boys in MI5, I'm sure he can now. Right? But crumbling Britain, like the crumbling hospitals, is ripe for British nationalism. The screenshot of the front is Nick Griffin when he was in his Quasimodo mode. He's uh, standing right next to him on his right is Dawn Charlton, commonly known as Butch Dawn, a hope not hate spy that he just seemed to allow with the rest of them to run riots in the BMP. Blame whoever you want, Nick Griffin. You are solely responsible for the death of British nationalism. But in the meantime, I still believe there's hope. I'll be back doing my videos as usual. But crumbling Britain is ripe for British nationalism. Okay, thank you.